Hi guys, Louis Dangle here from WrestleTalk.com and WrestleTalk Interviews. And we've got a very special guest today who's planning something quite special over the next couple of weeks with the relaunch of NXT UK. We've got A-Kid on the show. How are you doing, sir? How's, how's the past few months been for you? Hello, uh, very well. Uh, right now, just focus on NXT UK and the relaunch. So really, really excited about it. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. We, I'm excited for the relaunch of NXT UK as well. I was really getting into it, enjoying, looking forward to take over Dublin, which unfortunately has been uh, postponed. But we'll talk about that later. Um, for you, you joined NXT UK about uh, just shy of a year ago now. How has the last sort of 11 months been for you? And uh, I know it's probably not been what you thought would have happened when you, when you signed with NXT UK. Uh, yeah, obviously it's been it's been different to uh, everything that I had in mind, but uh, also for the better. Like I never expected this amount of progression in myself. Like I feel totally different wrestler right now, uh, and it's only been a year, so it's it's amazing when you think about it. Like when you look at my debut and you look at me now, it's just mind blowing sometimes. And obviously during that time off from sort of March uh, period, how have you been keeping fit in yourself personally, keeping active? And uh, what have NXT UK been doing as a group, I guess, to keep you guys active? Have there been any sort of online sessions going on or things of that nature? Yeah, they've been really, really helpful with that. Like uh, they've been setting up uh, some cl online classes just to study matches and stuff. And uh, I mean, it was great. It was something I could do every day and something to put my mind on. So it was really, really helpful during that time. I was lucky enough to have weights at home so I could like weight lift and stuff. But yeah, it's, it, it's been rough to keep my wrestling cardio without wrestling because there's nothing like wrestling for that. So uh, everyone says that people don't from from what everyone said over the past few months is there's nothing like being in a ring. You can run, you can be on a bike, but for, to be in the ring, you, you, you can't train for that unless you are yeah. in a ring yourself. Yeah, definitely. So you joined, obviously, NXT UK um, just under a year ago. What are some of your highlights with the brand thus far before it obviously shut down for the pandemic? Is there any sort of particular matches or particular things that you did that you look back uh, sort of fondly on? Yeah, uh, my debut uh, against Cassius Owen is one of those. Uh, not only because it's my debut as a singles wrestler in NXT UK, but also because it's against him, right? He he's one of my heroes uh, when I grew up watching wrestling. So I was really good to do. Um, Brian Kendrick is another one. It's like, it, it was amazing when I when I was told I was wrestling him. It was just like, well, all right, <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, he, yeah. Those matches are really, really important for me because it's like something I never thought I would be able to do inside a WWE ring, right? Uh, and then I would probably highlight my match against Ilja, uh, which was was not supposed to air. Uh, it was just a dark match, and I, I loved it back in the day. And everyone can watch it now in WWE network because of the pandemic and because of the uh, brand of being able to tape any more episodes. It was really, really fun to do that match. And then it was really fun to watch it uh, on the WWE Network. Is it weird that you get to watch stuff on the, of yourself on the WWE Network now? It must be. <laughs> it is even weirder like to watch it on TV because uh, obviously here in Spain, we didn't have BT Sport. But this last month, I was spending there like probably a whole month. And wow, I, I watch myself on TV. I watch myself on BT Sport. That, that's surreal. That is very surreal. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, I bet it is weird. Uh, BT Sport have done a fantastic job, obviously, well, I think anyway, uh, with their um, WWE sort of viewings and what they've been doing with WWE since they joined uh, the beginning of this year. So for you, you mentioned it earlier, to be on national TV in the UK uh, with the relaunch of BT Sport uh, this month what is that for you is that something i guess that you always wanted to do to be on a national tv but perhaps nxc uk wasn't a thing at the time that you were hoping for this so didn't think that that would be the avenue that be, you'd be going down um I, I mean i wouldn't say it is something i've always wanted to be in I, like i've always wanted to be pro wrestler and make a living out of it right everything else is 
a bonus, but it is something really useful and really special. Uh, as I said, when, when you see the product you produce uh, on TV, it's just, wow, everyone can watch this now. Like, when I was a kid, I, I used to be watching that. I used to be watching TV every, like, uh, in, back here in Spain, it was like Saturdays and Sundays, right? But um, yeah, I, I was in that position. So being able to do that and being able to tell those kids that they can do this they, like for the future, it, it, it is a very special thing. And um, something, obviously, with the relaunch of Bicky Sport that I wanted to ask you, because I don't think enough people, sorry, with the launch of, relaunch of NXT UK, I don't think enough people watch NXT UK. For me, the takeover shows are tremendous, probably up there with NXT takeovers in the stage, which are widely regarded as the best shows uh, on, on the planet. So um, for you, what is NXT UK about? For people that might not watch it, looking to get into it, or sort of need that kick up the backside to be like, you should be watching this. What do you think NXT UK is about? And what can people get excited for, for the upcoming uh, shows that have been taken? For me personally, it's the style. Uh, there is no brand like NXT UK, in my opinion. Uh, it's all full of like uh, very passionate wrestlers uh, that have been doing this for a long time. And this style is very European. Like So uh, now even more with Heritage Cup, you will see that. Uh, you will see that European style coming back and taking over. I, I think it is one of the of my favorite uh, styles ever. And if you mix that with like some high flying and like some other wrestling that we all love, uh, you get NXT UK, which is probably the best product on the planet. Uh, so you mentioned the Heritage Cup there. Can you sort of run us through, you're obviously going to be taking part. What, can you run us through the rules of, of the tournament? Because they're not like a unique, uh, sort of a, uh, a traditional tournament that we've seen over the past couple of years. It's definitely something that's unique and shouldn't be missed. So can you sort of run us through how the tournament's going to run and, and the rules, I guess? Sure. It, it is very similar to what they used to do around Europe uh, back in the, set, in the 60s, 70s. Uh, so it will be round-based. Uh, that means it's six, uh, three minutes round. Uh, if you get a fall, that round stops uh, and you get 20 seconds in between rounds. You have to win two falls to, to win the whole match or uh, finish the whole uh, like six rounds and the person with most falls wins. Uh, you can win by submission, count out and pinfall. And if you get knocked out or disqualified, you automatically lose. Uh, I think I didn't, I didn't lift anything. But it sounds... I think when it's written down, uh, you guys released that document, everyone was a bit like, okay, that's, that's hard to get around, but you've made it sound very, very simple. But uh, so how has your different, how, how's your training been different, I guess, in preparing for this? I presume it's the first match of that kind that you would have been having, or am, am I wrong there? I've done a few. Uh, I've done a few in front of a live crowd, and I've done a lot of training. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's something I've loved watching since I was little. Like, uh, the world of the sport era is, is up there with the best wrestling ever. Uh, just, like, and being able to learn from, like, people like Johnny Sane, Robbie Brookside, Regal, Mason, uh, Johnny Moss, it, it is just almost second nature right now, which is amazing to say. But it, it is, it really is. Uh, during, during this whole like six months, I've been watching a lot of old tapes. So that's, that's how I've been preparing for this. And actually, we'll get on to that. So hold that thought. But uh, I've asked a lot about what NXT UK is about for people that aren't familiar with it. I want to ask about what A-Kid's about for people that might not be familiar with you. So for people that don't watch a lot of NXT UK or haven't seen your work, just sort of follow the very mainstream WWE uh, NXT in the States products. What, what, what are you about? What, what kind of style of wrestling can people expect if they tune into one of your matches? And uh, I guess, why should people care about Aikid? Uh, they can expect my style. I, I think I'm very unique because uh, here in Spain, I couldn't learn from anyone. Uh, there was no real good teacher because there was no real good wrestler back in the day. So, I kind of had to teach myself how to wrestle and how to create a style, really. So I, I mix a lot from, like, Lucha Libre. I mix a lot from, like, old technical wrestling, like uh, we were mentioned, like, British style. And then I 
I mix a lot from MMA because I used to do MMA. Like I've been practicing MMA for four years or something. So uh, it, it's all kind of like a mix up. Uh, and that's me. It, it is, in my opinion, really unique. And I always try to adapt to my opponent. So every match you see me and it's going to be different from the others. Perfect. Uh, before I let you go, can we do some quick fire questions? Sure. First one, very important to me. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Definitely yes. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I would have hung up the call if it was if it was a no. Um, favorite wrestler for you? Who, when you think of your favorite wrestler, who, who does your mind go to? Uh, Bret Hart. Very, very good choice. Uh, and favorite matches? You mentioned there watching a lot of old stuff. So this is a two-parter. One that you've been a part of, that you came away from thinking, damn, I'm really proud of that. And then another match uh, that you can watch, say you need some sort of inspiration or you're looking for a reminder for why you love this, that you can go to and be like, all right, th this is why I love professional wrestling. Uh, so mine would be uh, myself versus Ilja um, in the, like, as I said, like the tapings. Yep. Um, and then the other one would be the Iron Man between Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. I feel like that match is perfect. And every time I watch it, I just love wrestling a little bit more and, and just want to do it again. Perfect. And I asked you to describe NXT UK a bit earlier, but I'm going to ask you to a little bit harder now. Can you describe NXT UK in one word? One word. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say, I would say style, style. Nice. I like that. Uh, next one, Spanish football team. Who do you support? Oh, no one. I don't like football. No one. No. Okay. <laughs> it's better than the wrong answer. Uh, uh, it's better than a wrong answer. Um, and then final question uh, from me anyway. Uh, you've had some great matches with, as you said, Ilya Dragunov, your debut against Cassius Ono. When you think about the future, heading into the next set of uh, NXT UK uh, episodes on BT Sport and obviously WWE Network as well, who are some people you want to face? Who uh, Have you got sort of a list of people that you want to face or anyone in particular that you think you could sort of really create something with if you had the opportunity to wrestle? I don't, I don't really have a list of people. Uh, I always say this. We are like a very, very strong roster. So everyone in that roster will be amazing to wrestle. Uh, maybe one person that I would love to, uh, just because my first match here in the, in the UK uh, was against pretty strong style. So Trent Seven is the only one I haven't wrestled in singles match. So that would be good to do along the lines. But yeah, no one in particular. I mean, he's part of the Heritage Cup as well, so potentially that's something we'll see down the line. Uh, AK, thank you so much for your time. Uh, you've been incredibly generous. Uh, tell, tell the people where they can follow you, where they can keep up to date with everything that you've got going on. Uh, just at AK Wrestler, on Twitter and Instagram, that's all social media I have. Uh, and thank you very much, Luis. Thank you very much. And obviously, as I said earlier, BT Sport for all your NXT UK stuff over here in the UK and in the States on the WWE Network. You guys are relaunching uh, this month. So make sure everyone's checking that out because from what uh, from the videos that were going online of the BT Sport studio, it looks like NXT UK and WWE have not pulled out any stops to making sure that this looks great. So uh, we're really looking forward to it and we hope that you guys tune in. So thank you very much. I really appreciate your time.